Here's another recap of my recent progress with the game engine and a small talk about shared libraries. So throughout the week, I spent some time organizing the data of the engine into a strict hierarchy. Doing this will ultimately allow me to remove all static variables and systems from the engine and place that data into the new ownership hierarchy. You might be wondering, what is the point of doing this if the engine systems already work? Well, providing runtime attachable modules requires the usage of shared libraries. And a big limitation of shared libraries is that you can only interface through predefined functions and data. You can define this data by having both the engine and the module link the same static library, but function calls that, that modify static data do not modify the same data. So a way around this problem is to define a single copy of all the data and inject the relevant data into the module that needs it. So once this diagram is done, I will start the process of purging all static data from the engine and I will let you know how that goes. During my recent stream, I started to organize the module code better and define the module dependency hierarchy better. This also involved organizing engine assets, components, and systems into their respective modules. Over the next week, I plan to continue work on these diagrams and also look into my engine's threading situation. And that's it. If you want to watch the recent stream, I posted the video on my YouTube channel. And if you want to stop by and see what I'm doing, I will be streaming this Friday again at 3pm. Alright, later.